What's up, Chatter God? It's your girl, Ebony, and I'm back with another video, another message, another level of understanding, <laughs> another word from the Most High God. So, I want to welcome the Holy Spirit into the ministry, into your temple, into your dwelling place, into my dwelling place as we go a little higher with God. Hmm. And I want to pray over this word in the mighty name of Jesus. I denounce the spirit of backlash. I denounce the spirit of a staggering spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that you be exalted, Lord God, on the ministry as we talk, as we communicate amongst your family, your sheep in the mighty name of Jesus, that we proclaim you over every single detail and life changing thing that you are getting ready to do and already have established within heaven over our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hmm. Listen, you guys. There are situations that are occurring within your life and God is saying that you are the remnant, ha. Huh? You are his remnant, ha. Huh? So there are certain things or challenges that comes up amongst you, but listen to what I'm saying, child of God. Hmm. Do not focus so much on the challenge or the obstacle. Focus more so on where your part is to play. Focus more so on what God has to do. God has you in that position. Understand what you're showing up and serving as. God said he came to be, even Christ came to be of service. You understand what I'm saying? And of ransom, oh God, for other people. So listen to what I'm saying, child. Of God. There are many messages within your walk of life, within your journey hmm as bravery ha huh? as god guides you jesus ha huh? as the chivalry is leading within his camp jesus listen god is saying there are angels all around you to help manifest the blessing in which he knows and ordained from heaven on your name and so this is what god is saying listen child of god there are so many differences in what you can focus on i denounce a staggering spirit in the mighty name of jesus there are so many differences that you can get trapped in trapped focused on watching everybody that is surrounding you watching all those people people that supposed to be greater than you feel me what you are expecting because of you giving them out such a goodness of your heart such a goodness of your gift and you can lose yourself in the midst of what they're giving you back if they're not pouring into you the same half of what you need then you got to let bygones be bygones and move forward on seeing where God has you as a faithful remnant where God wants you to do oh Jesus I proclaim you over this situation over the word in the mighty name of Jesus every word curse spoken over you child of God it will not work God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. God is saying, stop looking at the simple fact that these people may be your relatives, that these people may be somebody that you grew up with or is familiar, maybe even birth to. Who knows, child of God? God is saying, look at the spirit that they're in. Look at the lesson that they're learning. Are they achieving the mission of Christ? Are they subduing his will? Are they doing the free will of educating themselves? Are they doing things or are they sheep in wolf's clothing? Ha! Huh? Are they wolves in sheep clothing? Ha! Huh? Jesus, you understand? what I'm saying child of God understand this listen mm, there's a harvest that's within you it's very plentiful God is saying call call out what is yours manifest what is yours the moment you focus on the increase of what he has to give you the offering of what is already yours because of what is in your spirit what has already been prepared and predestined for you then everything just starts to move I denounce the spirit of calamity everything starts to move everything that is attached to you because God says for seek first the righteousness and his kingdom and all the all the abundance and the riches may be added to you. Glory be to you, most high God. He knows what that means, Jesus. Ha, however it applies. Listen, this is a confirmation for whoever needs to be uh, uh what, 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 what elevated. Mm -hmm. We denounce the spirit of souls high covenants. And since we're on this, let's just talk. This world, listen, God said, be ye transformed of this world. God says, listen, there are so many people that's wanting you to, Jesus, go in and to a codependency relationship with them. Ha, when you go against what they're telling, what their what their um, behavior is saying, then you come now out of the covenant of the gods and, and the idols that they're worshiping. But God is saying here, be ye transformed because you are my faithful remnant which means you do not bow down to any other god but jesus so if you see things that is working in iniquity then you got to call it out listen child of god it's not a, no more about how long you knew this person it's no more about how long you've been with this person or seen this person or raised with this person listen child of god the god is the god of love the god of spirit and truth ha the way the truth and the life he said in order to hum 
operate fullness in your gift, full in your authority, so heaven can back you up. You must never ha huh, bow down to any other idolization or what somebody else think of you or people pleasing. Playing it small where God has already grown you. You're already tall. No matter what comes up against you, that's the stuff that you cannot worry about. Like you cannot serve God and, and, and be like, oh, I'm fearing the people. I'm fearing what they think about. You can't serve two masters, child of God. Break free. Break free. There's a butterfly season waiting for you to lash out and fly. Rise above what you used to be. There's no more caterpillar in you. That season is dry. In order for you to become a new creature in Christ, you had to elevate. In order for you to keep going through in your domain, you had to move forward. You had to rise above everything that was knocking you down. Those things that made you fearful, that you was trying to scoot over, run over, and make sure don't nobody step on you. This, that, and the third. But baby, didn't it teach you? Didn't it build up something else in you? Didn't God show you? Last time, these same people that's arriving in your life, God already showed you by the spirit of who they carry, what, how to treat them. Call it like it is, child of God, no matter what they think of you. If it's a Jezebel spirit operating in this person, we got to break down, cancel the enemy system, and let's stand on the forefront of who we truly are in Christ. You understand? No more Ahabs. No more, I want to hear your story all day. You victimizing the situation like you ain't did nothing wrong. There's accountability that has to be mandated for a healing to break forth. There's a solution. Nobody wants to sit around with a person who don't want the solution, but they want you to hear all the problems. My God, my God, how long would you have it? How long would you last in that situation? Check, check into your dominion, child of God. Listen, check into your dominion. Check into your authority. How you doing? God bless you. Check into your authority. Know who's talking to you. Because if the enemy is talking to you, then my baby, we really at war. We got to see who's truly up against us. My God, Christ is overloading in this time frame. It's time to take your dignity back. It's time to take your righteousness back. For you are the thing that came down from heaven. God said everything that is loose in heaven shall be loose in earth. And everything that is bound in heaven shall be bound in earth. Let's bound it. That's love. Let's bound that the devil. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to that storm. Yield little faith. Speak to that storm and tell it to move because your father is right there backing you up. That's all you need as you're being the faithful remnant of his kingdom. Be well, child of God, and know that God is fighting for you. Your sister is fighting for you. Jesus, huh, I just seen something in the spirit. My God, hallelujah, there's a halo over you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the war is won. Be at peace. <laughs> Bye.